I remember one time they had like a raffle where you like have a ticket with a number on it and grand prize was they ordered a pizza for you and I remember like I was about to leave I was packing up and the teacher just called out a number and I had the number and I won a free pizza and everyone just came running around and saying oh I'm your best friend Arlo you gotta give me this pizza <laughs> And I didn't, I gave it to my actual friends. <laughs> but it was still just one of those moments. It's usually quite intense. They're usually, you know, really good friends. And then they outgrow him because he, he's emotionally and mentally just a little bit not of his age. He's he's better with thing. He, he, he's always find it difficult. Like he used to be really scared of the shark and Nemo. <gasps> Hello. Well, hi! For years. <laughs> he would never watch Nemo because of the shark, even though the shark is supposed to be friendly. And so where when his kids were probably the kids his age were probably watching Spider-Man or whatever, he was still watching stuff that was quite tame. And that can affect his friendships because they move on from him. Um and he doesn't know and doesn't understand why that happens and he finds it really hard to sort of keep friendships going and sort of he finds it hard to make them finds it hard to keep them going and then doesn't understand why they don't kind of carry on um and i think that's probably an age thing i think once he gets to a certain age it'll it'll even out it'll balance out and he'll find people that he can be on a level with but i think that's probably the hardest thing for me that to watch him have to deal with that is the hardest thing because i can't do anything about that you know, I can, all the other stuff, I can try and help him manage it. I can sort of work around it. But you can't force people to be friends with him because he just keeps to himself. He's so introverted, he kind of keeps to himself and he'll find a wee corner to go and do his drawing because he doesn't really know how to kind of interact with people because they're too loud or something. I was in primary five when I found out I had autism. And I remember my mum showing me a video of people with autism talking about autism. Oh God. And I remember, <laughs> <laughs> I remember like a girl in a tree and a guy with lots of action figures. But that's pretty much it. I don't really remember anything else from that video. <laughs> I remember going to all the tests and we're kind of just a distant memory now, but I remember what the rooms looked like and the stuff they did. Like they had like a car just thing and they were testing my IQ, I think which I'm pretty sure my mum said is above average. So, yeah. What about bullying? Yeah, that's been an issue in the past because he is different. He is young for his age in some ways. Um, and because everything is logical to him and that, you know, if, I, if somebody's, I, I'm going to say something about something because that's just what it is. And people not understanding that he's just, he's not saying it to be horrible or mean, or he's just saying it because it's what he sees or not joining in with things it's easy if to pick on someone who's not good at team sports because it's hard because there's lots of instructions people are shouting at you you've got to do this with like, ah, I've forgotten and so if you're not good at team sports if you're, not, if you're a boy you're not good at football you know oh that's them coming home probably um I used to get bullied but it was before I found out I had autism and it went on after I found out I had autism and it was mainly just like he would nudge me on the arm like all the time and then always deny it and then like yeah he wouldn't like like shove me onto the ground or anything just like nudge me off his shoulder Ugh. and nobody would really ever talk to me in primary school like I'd just be that one person in the class that no one would ever talk to. He's better now, he's a bit older, but he still, he doesn't do the same things that is age appropriate. Ordered a fidget spinner when they were first popular and it never came and it still hasn't come to this day. <laughs> it was like oh. transparent purple and it had sparkles and oh. red, blue and green all over it. <laughs> Purple's my favourite colour. That's why the main character is uh. purple. Arlo, in particular, likes drawing um, and he draws these amazing comics 
and he has this great imagination but a lot of it is kind of related to the games and the movies that we see. Oh, it always made me laugh when he was really little and he, he was drawing the comics and he used this character Yoshi which is from the Mario, Mario Kart and stuff and so he had all these comics with Yoshi going in and out, all these adventures and then he was like, oh I can publish them. I was like, well you can't because he's not your character, you have to find something that isn't you know somebody else's character and then the next time we went back to the the, the psychologist he was like yeah i've got my own characters they're called handy and bandy <laughs> and it was two hands like and they do all these adventures with the two hands and the psychologist was just laughing because he's, he's literally just looked down and gone okay i'll use my hands <laughs> the two things are right in front of me handy and bandy um but then he's moved on since then now he now has his own little universe he has all these characters like there's goodness knows how many of them uh, one of the, the main ones called puzz and he's a purple puffball and he goes on these into space and he has a little sidekick and so he has this amazing imagination I'm so jealous of it because the the comics just come out like you know he'll have this whole story arc you just you'll start from from the beginning and to the end and you'll get there and there's this arc and there's all the things that you're supposed to put in that I spend hours thinking about I've got a really good drawing in here somewhere these are the characters I'm making the animation about here we go here's a good one And I've even made a few comics, like I made one for a fringe here, like, hey man, are you excited for a fringe? Yeah. What, do you not like the fringe? I'm fine with fringe, it's the advertising that bugs me. You ever wondered why they're called flyers? Why? Because people swarm around you like flies trying to give you them. And then <laughs> lots of flies buzz around them. It's true. And then one of the flies has a flyer and says, hey, you want to see the new show fly into my heart? <laughs> and then he says, it must be because you smell bad. 